Welcome to USM's new library website! For this video, we are only going to go over the most commonly used subsites of the website. If you'd like more information, feel free to explore the website on your own! First up, we are going to go over the search tabs at the top, beginning with OneSearch, which is a tool designed to search most of USM library's materials and is a good place to start the research process. Next up, the catalog searches all the materials in the UMaine library system and other URSIS member libraries, such as books, videos, government documents, documents, and more. The journals and ebooks takes you to a search box where you can search electronic journals and books by name, such as the New York Times, Wall Street Journal, National Geographic, etc. that USM subscribes to. The database tab is where you can find a full listing of all USM's database options by name. And lastly, today's hours is updated regularly for all library branch locations as well as online service help hours. Next, we are going to explore the services page using this icon. To learn more about printing services, click this first icon here. To book a study room, we are going to click this icon, which will redirect you to a new page. Go almost all the way down to the bottom of the site to find the reserve a study room button, and it will redirect you to the calendar to reserve a study room based on your library branch. To find tutoring appointments, scroll down almost to the bottom of the page and click this icon. From this screen, you can select your preferred type of appointment from the selection listed here. Back on the home page, if you want to access subject guides, also known as lib guides or research guides, select this icon. It will bring you to a list of our subject guides that offer detailed subject and course specific guides to help you access resources. To access course reserves from the home page, select this icon. Course Reserves is a service that provides copies of required course material available to students in that class that can be accessed remotely or in person depending on the materials. And finally, we get to Ask a Librarian, which is a tool that lets you contact a librarian via chat, email, phone, or text during library hours. If you've already closed the pop-up screen, you can either click the message icon at the bottom right-hand side of the page or scroll down to the Ask a Librarian icon located here. Happy exploring of the new website!